Tucked between the Tennessee River and the hills of Marion County lies the small town of South Pittsburgh, Tennessee. Home to just 3,200 people, it has but one claim to fame, a metal foundry called Lodge Cast Iron. Lodge is the last company in the nation turning out cast iron skillets on a daily basis. Bob Kellerman is the chief executive officer. We produce about 80,000 pounds of cast iron cookware daily. We have two high production molding lines and each molding line will crank out maybe 400 plus moles per hour and we run two 10 hour shifts a day so you can do the math. The math adds up to a successful fourth generation family owned business that's been turning out cast iron cookware for more than a century. Lodge used to have several American competitors, but they all went out of business years ago. Kellerman says investing in new technology was the key to keeping his company alive. We've reinvested our earnings over the years to become more mechanized and had we not mechanized over the years, we would have been out of business many years ago. Some years we survived in spite of ourselves. Lodge also continued to innovate. Its most recent improvement turned out to be a marketing bonanza. Several years ago, the company began seasoning its cookware before it leaves the factory. Oil has to be baked into a skillet's cast iron pores before it can be used, a process many cooks find intimidating. In a short five years, we went from nothing seasoned to everything seasoned. And our slogan when we introduced it, we should have thought of this 100 years ago. Lodge has developed its own recipe for consistently producing cast iron with just the right characteristics. Quality control at the foundry is overseen by technical manager Larry Rado. We have a spectrometer uh, that in about eh, 45 seconds we know 19 different elements that we can adjust for. We know exactly what we melt and we know exactly what's going into our cookware. Lodge also adopted the Japanese approach to improving product quality by empowering its employees. Anyone here at Lodge Manufacturing can throw a casting away. Anybody. It, it, from, the, from the grinders, finishers, packers, we can actually stop the line. But advanced technology and management techniques don't tell the whole story. Lodge is also benefiting from a kind of cast iron renaissance. At the Hermitage Hotel in nearby Nashville, executive chef Tyler Brown uses cast iron to prepare and serve some of the Capitol Grill's signature dishes. The cholesterol-heavy cuisine of the American South fell out of favor for a time, but Brown says Southern culture and foods are suddenly popular again. South is sort of hot right now. People enjoy what we do, enjoy sort of the tradition of our culture that needs to be spoken about, talked about, and passed on. And what better place than around the table to uh, get that started. Lodge Cast Iron is riding the crest of that wave, putting out dozens of new products from cast iron woks to Dutch ovens made for the campfire. Bob Kellerman gets emotional when he considers what his great-great-grandfather would think of his small foundry today. And I think uh, old jo Joe Lodge and uh, the rest of the family who've gone on would be very proud of the company seeing it as it is now. Lodge Cast Iron is looking to the international market for continued growth. Its cookware is now sold in Japan, Russia, and the Philippines. For VOA News, I'm Mike Osborne in South Pittsburgh, Tennessee. There you go. You have a great day. Okay.